In this video, I will introduce the solar radiation tool for Revit. So now it's possible to run these analyses within Revit instead of using Vasari. And that is a great improvement. So I will just show some of the few things that are a little bit different compared to Vasari. But all the other videos I have on my YouTube channel is still useful for modifying or whatever things regarding the solar radiation. It is a little bit tricky to find the radiation tools at this point, but if you search on solar radiation Autodesk and then select the building performance analysis and in the front page we will have solar analysis plugin now available for Revit. So if you click on that you will come to this page and down here we can click and go to the Autodesk lab and first of all you need to join in for that you need a Autodesk account and in the bottom here we have the download and then you just download it and install it back in Revit the solar radiation will pop up on the analyze and create icon solar analysis and by activating this we're getting the same window up as we know from Vasari but here we don't have this button up here that is called select phases. We need to click on analyze and then it will ask do you want to analyze all mass phases. So still it only works on mass phases but in this case I just want to select phases I want to analyze. So I will select this one and I will select the phases I want to analyze. And when I finish with this it should be click over here but now I had to click finish up here. Then it will start analyzing and all the stuff about the legend and so on is, is the same. Um, so we can edit that on the uh, style here. But we are still limited to uh, maximum and minimum. We cannot make our own maximum and minimum, minimum values. For that I will show how to tweak that in a, another video. Now we also got another uh, sky model that is more accurate. This one Paris surface analysis. It's not that much lower but it is more precise when we are looking at shorter time steps. So the first one is uh, good for a, a period and the other one is good for more specific time and date. Yeah and still we have the same options or limitations. We can export the data to make numerical comparing. So to close this again I just press close and that was the end of this short video on introducing the solar radiation tool for Revit.